Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93, Part 15 in Emerald. And as you can tell, my voice is feeling a lot better. And so I'm ready to do voice narrations again. I'm, I feel great. And so, let's get into the action with the trainer battle. This noob's gonna throw out a sand shrew, so I'm gonna throw out my numble and use ember. Oh well, what? Poison sting? They ain't gonna do shit, so Ember again and you go die. Level 26 for Numbel. I still don't know what level evolves into Camel Rub. I have to go check on Bulbapedia. I keep saying that I'm gonna do that, then I don't ever do it. Throw out Bulkner and use a spark on this Nuzzle. Even though it's not very effective, it's still gonna do, like, a lot of H HP, a lot of damage, because it's just a good move. Plus, being modest really helps. So use another spark and two hit KO. Alright, let's see. Go down here. I believe there's an item somewhere down here. But there's a trainer too. Oof 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 oof. What the hell? What the hell is a oof 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 oof? Who are who the fuck are you, Koga? I thought only Koga did that. Well whatever, Steve. You've got an Aaron and I've got a Volkner. Or I don't have a Volkner, I have a uh Electrite. Epic fail. You spark and it goes down. I don't want your fucking poking nav. God, I don't want boys giving me their numbers. It's like, dude, I'm not I'm not like that, okay? I don't swing that way. Talk to the I was gonna say stone. But knowing what Luigi would say, talk to the rock and you get a carbos, okay. Don't know what's passed out boulder. I'm not I don't have rock smash HM slave on my team, so doesn't matter anyways. And we got like tornado warnings right now in North Carolina. Like radio and TV. It's like tornado warnings for blah 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 counties. Mike County being one of them. And it's all windy outside. Dark clouds. I don't know, we might get some tornadoes around here. Uh, probably not where I live though, but nearby where I live maybe. So yeah, if I like lose internet for like a month and you don't hear from me for a long time, it's probably because a tornado like demolished my house. It's just fine. Level 26 for Electric, and we all know what happens in level 26 for Electric. Volkner's evolving. Kick ass, we get my Netric. This thing is a beast. You all know that it's a beast if you saw my battle against Watson, that my Netric he had ran circles around my team. This thing is just a good Pokemon in game for Emerald or Ruby or Sapphire or whatever. It's just a very good electric type. Very fast, good old special attack. And it's got a very good moveset, too. I believe it's one of the few electric types other than... Other than what's it called... I can't remember the name. The the evolution of Electabuzz, whatever it's called. One of the only other electric types, electric types other than that Pokemon that can learn fire-type moves, such as Flamethrower. Or Fire Fang, if you're talking 4th gen. But I'm pretty sure my natural can learn Flamethrower, which is pretty cool. Use a Call Mind Boost. 
Now use confusion on the Geo dude. And peck on the Meryl. Just looking at the, out my window, because I have a window outside the computer. Just looking out of my window, I can see the clouds moving really fast in the sky. Like, you can tell that the clouds are moving. They're not staying still, they're like moving really fast in the sky. Huh. It's cool to look at, but then you wonder if this is a good sign or a bad sign for the weather around here. And I totally just dozed off there, completely off my video. Okay, let's see. Peck on the double, and the double goes down, and that should be it for this double battle. Alright, so now, uh, avoid that guy, fight him later. Go inside here, and we are at... Meteor Falls. This is the place where you fight a certain someone at the very end of the game. But for now, it's just a place where you have to go to advance the story. <laughs> With this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will. Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can get your way with the world. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorites. Off the Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> He's seeing you, Team Aqua Dingbats. Didn't I see you before at Slayport's Museum? Ah, so your name is Mox. At the time, I thought you were just one of Team Magma's goons. Huh. You're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Mox, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. So the story's starting to get a little bit interesting now. I am Cosmo, a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls. But they tricked me. They even took my meteor right away. And then another similar bunch, Timakwa, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma... What are they going to do with the, that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Well, there's only one way to find out what they're going to do. We gotta go over to Mount Chimney. It's a fucking wild battle. Almost at the entrance, okay. If you don't know where Mount Chimney is, I'm going to show you where it is, because... Me, personally, for playing Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire as a kid, I usually got stuck at this point in the game, because I had no idea what or where you were supposed to go after reaching Meteor Falls, and they say, oh, let's go to Mount Chimney, and then I don't have any idea where it was, because I don't remember passing a Mount Chimney in the game. So, I'm going to show you guys, just in case you don't know, which I... I guess we all kind of do only know where it is. I mean, it's not like none of y'all have ever played this game before. I mean, I think that you've all played it before, but whatever. And above all else, if you already know where Mount Jimmy is, I'm just gonna show you where it is just to fill out time in this video because better than cutting ahead to where Mount Chimney is and then having maybe a few people not know where it is. And I had to cut right there because I fought those two girls in that double battle off camera. Just keep running. 
from tomorrow. I don't know, some song by some dude on the radio. Baby, please don't go. If I wake up tomorrow, will you still be here? I don't know. I don't know if I wake up inside you, if I'm gonna find you. I don't, I don't fucking know the lyrics. Okay, whatever. I should probably sing songs that I at least know the lyrics to. I mean, seriously. I know I'm a sexy singer, but it kind of fails when I don't even know what I'm singing, so. Let me choose a better song. You know what? Screw that. I'm not gonna sing right now. Alright, so remember this entrance to the fire path? Well, over here, you might have noticed the Team Magma Girls were blocking the way. Well, now they're out of the way, and now you can go into this cable car. LOL, he's fapping. Just look at him in the cable car, it looks like he's fapping. Alright, so now we're at the top of Mount Chimney. If they expand the land, there will be less habitats for water Pokemon. We're going to be making more land. I mean, everything they say here is just dirt. Box. I should have guessed you'd show up. See for yourself what the fanatics Team Magma are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. We're Team Magma. Derp. They're Team Aqua. Double Derp. Holy annoys me that they use a name like ours. I mean, seriously. Stating the obvious. Well, everybody wants a big house. I mean, you're not the only person who wants a big house. I mean, don't see how that's... selective to Team Magma. I'd like to have a big house too, but... that ain't gonna happen right now. Alright. Battle, bubble, Vaporeon, Water Gun, Dual Weakness, Die. I mean, seriously. Fire Ground. I mean, two weaknesses to water. I mean, unless I think it has a Focus Sash, you're going down immediately. Alright, so one more battle. We have Team Magma working. Blah blah blah. Faces to live. Everyone be happy. Okay, I don't think people would be happy if you caused the volcano to erupt and the lava to float out like killed some people. Because that shit is hot stuff that will burn your skin and bone off. And I'm pretty sure that that will probably destroy more houses than it would build because that would be like obliterating an entire area. So, see, your, your ideas of helping the world are false. Plus, I look how I look how they're trying to build more houses for people. Yet the housing industry, and the housing economy as it is right now in the country, is terrible. I mean, they're not going to be helping at all. They're going to be causing more problems. Uh, this is Box signing out. I guess I'll see you guys later.